What's up guys? Today we are in Little Italy, the 48 square block neighborhood and culinary capital of San Diego, home to a little over 3,500 residents with an average home price of $600,000. So how did Little Italy get its name? Well, in 1906, after the earthquake in San Francisco, tons of Italian families came down to San Diego and inhabited this, this neighborhood, where there were restaurants, bakeries, and even grocery stores like Mona Lisa catered for their culture. So from the turn of the 20th century up until about 1960, Little Italy was predominantly made up of fishermen, dock builders, and boat builders, which helped us earn the title of the tuna capital of the world. All right, so just over my shoulder is the waterfront bar on Kettner Boulevard, which is definitely a neighborhood staple. And back in the 1930s, it actually used to be on the waterfront itself. So you see the guy up on the top that literally used to be the ocean, and now it's about four blocks west. So in 1972, the I-5 freeway behind me was developed and it displaced thousands of families in this community. Little Italy actually used to stretch all the way to Balboa Park, which is now Bankers Hill. So these days, Little Italy is a booming condo and townhome market. It's really young, it's like a millennial sort of demographic, being that it's very much a happy hour community. Just behind me, you'll see the Little Italy landmark sign. When do you think that was originally lit up for the first time? I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'm still waiting. October 2000. All right, so we're outside of Filippi's Pizza Grotto, which is easily one of the most sought after pizzas in San Diego. If you love deep dish, this is your spot. The, uh, this is the storefront right here in front of us. And then Mama Filippi used to live just behind the storefront and the house is still there, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're outside my favorite restaurant in Little Italy and one of my favorite restaurants in all of San Diego, Barbusa. Uh, Sicilian cuisine with a modern flair, all kinds of wine and alcohol and drinks. Uh, the food here is outrageous. It's owned by the Busalaki family who are staples in Little Italy. And if you come here, ask for PJ because he runs the show and tell him Ax sent you. So just behind me is the Piazza della Familia, which is home to over 16,000 square feet of residential, retail, and restaurant space. It's also home to the Little Italy food market, as well as one of my favorite restaurants, Gray's by Sam. The community here is young, fun, and tight-knit. The farmer's markets on Saturdays are incredible, and no matter where you live here, you're only a couple minutes from the water. So Little Italy is easily one of my favorite neighborhoods in San Diego. I live actually just about a mile and a half away. So if you don't wanna be in the hustle and bustle and craziness of the gas lamp district, but you wanna be within an Uber, or within a bird, or a lime, or whatever, this is your place, especially if you're younger, condos, townhomes, all the happy hours, like Nolita Hall down the street, all that sort of stuff. Awesome community for a younger person. Definitely come here. Thanks so much for watching the video. I absolutely love Little Italy. It's a fantastic community. Obviously the culinary capital of San Diego. And like we learned, the tuna capital of the world. Um, the only downside to me is that you're in the direct flight path for the San Diego airport. Outside of that, pretty much can't beat it. So if you haven't seen your neighborhood or your community featured yet, let me know. Leave it in the comments or DM me. Uh, all of my socials are Real Estate with Axe. My website's also realestatewithaxe.com or you can text or call me at 858-232-6383. Have a good one.